Hey guys, welcome back to episode four of Chelsea's Millions. Thank you very much for joining us. Please don't forget to leave us a like. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and keep seeing this. So in today's episode, we have VAR controversy. We go up against Barcelona in the Champions League and we take on Liverpool in the league. Let's see what happens. So let's have a quick look at how things have been going since you were last with us. You last joined us for the Everton game where we picked up the 3-1 win. We've had a not too bad run of games. We've have lost a game and drew a couple, but we've started getting back to winning ways again. The first game we played was against Manchester United, where we drew in the Premier League a one-all draw. Harlan did get on the score sheet, but Mason Mount did pick up a knock in that game, so it wasn't brilliant. We then thrash Liverpool, so second place Liverpool in the league, and we'll go to this game just to have a look. So if we just have a look at the match stats that show up in this game, we had 15 shots in the game, we dominated for expected goals, created a clear-cut chance and half chances. Possession was pretty even in the game. Um, we changed from a positive mentality to a cautious mentality for this. We started off positive, they got back into the game, so we went to a cautious mentality and once we changed that, we just started battering them. So you can see we took a lead with Timo Werner, 10 and 22 minutes, so we had a 2-0 lead. They pulled it back level after 68 minutes with Andy Robertson, bringing it to 2 all. Timo Werner did pick up an injury, uh, which was not the best thing for us. I think that injury left him out for about four weeks, all told. But once we changed the cautious mentality, as I was just saying, Pulisic, Ziyech and Haaland all got on the score sheet. We just, I don't know what it was, whether it was we were inviting them on and then we were just able to counter at such pace. It really worked wonders for us. So after the Liverpool game, we then hit five pass leads in a demolition job again. This time Haaland picking up two and Callum Hudson and Doy in for the injured Werner, hitting a brace as well. We then played Barcelona in the first leg of the Champions League at the Camp Nou. And this is what it looked like. So we started this game with a positive mentality, as we did against Liverpool. But for pretty much the whole game it was just going Barcelona's way. They took the lead after 34 minutes with Anton Griezmann, who had already had a goal chalked off. So we decided that that wasn't working. We switched it up to a cautious mentality and pulled level. Um, an own goal through Gerard Piquet. It's a brilliant cross into the box from Callum hudson Doy. Just ended up bouncing off of Gerard Piquet. So we went out in the second half, carried on with the cautious mentality, just thought that it would be enough to see us through. But it wasn't. Straight away, Bush gets hit a screamer from 45 yards. We just... I, I don't know how Mendy got beat from that distance, to be honest with you. And then De Jong hit another one from outside the box, and we were 3-1 down, scratching our heads. We just didn't know what to do. Switched to a defensive mentality, and from the second we'd switched to the defensive mentality, we were about 70 minutes into the game. And straight away, Havert, 75 minutes, pulled a goal back. And then we were on top of them. And in the end, if we check the match stats, you can see the expected goals tell us that we should have shaded it in expected goals. The possession we started taking charge of. Passes completed was very similar. It's... A game that we shouldn't have lost. At the same time, I don't think we should have won it. I think a draw would have been a fairer result. But we have got two goals to go into today's game against them. Up next was Wolves, where we fell flat on our faces again, nil-nil. It was a game that just dragged on and on and on. It No creation in this game at all. And after not creating anything against Wolves... When we went up against Leicester, I decided to switch the formation. So here we can see the formation we switched to when we went up against Leicester. Instead of Mount playing right in behind Haaland, I've dropped him back to play in the centre of midfield as an advanced playmaker. So he's still doing the same role, 
just a bit further withdrawn. So what I'm hoping is that brings them onto us a little bit more, creates a little bit more space for this front three to do what they need to do. And throughout the start of the game, we took an early lead through Kurt Zuma and were holding a fair control over the game until they pulled one back with Wes Morgan. So all this while we were on a balanced mentality because I wasn't sure how this would work. At this point, I decided we were just going to go hammer and tong at Leicester to see what we could get out of the game. And it worked. Abraham had one chalked off on 86 minutes, but then he capitalised on the 89th minute and got a goal. As we can see right at the end of the game, Chowdhury lost it for Leicester and got himself sent off. Have a quick look at the stats. So you can see the domination we had in this game. 11 shots to their two. Expected goals was 1.07 to 0.69 for them. The clear-cut chances and half chances we shaded as well. Possession was about 50-50. A lot of that was down to we were losing a lot of possession when we went attacking on them. But when we were attacking, drawing them onto us, we were countering so fast. And that's where we got the two goals, although one of them was chalked off. All in all, a good game. The final game saw us go up against Sheffield United, where we ran out 2-0 winners. Wasn't a bad game. We carried on with a new formation, and it worked well for us in the end. Ziek and Valverde on the score sheet there. Valverde hitting his first. So a quick look at the competitions and where that leaves us up to now. We're currently six points clear of Liverpool in the league on 73 points. Manchester City are a massive 14 points behind us, but they do have a game in hand on us. As for the European Cup, we already know that we're playing Barcelona today, so we don't have to go over that. Top goal scorer for us in the league is Timo Werner on 15 goals. Have a quick look at the squad. So just a quick squad view here so you can see who's doing what. Werner has got 21 goals in 29 starts for us. We've already got Abraham on 10 goals in 15 starts. We have also got Haaland on 11 goals in 13 starts. Pulisic's got 10 goals in 17 starts. And we also have Ziek on 11 goals in 24 starts. So we've got a number of players already on double figures this year for goals scored. The one thing that is concerning me about this is the assists column. There's no player that's actually standing out as a guy that's creating goals. I mean, the best assist player we've got is Afwood Equator, who is our backup right back, and he's got nine assists. We've got no one that's actually hit double figures on assists yet, which is a little bit worrying. When we have a look at the average ratings, best average rated player so far this season, we're going to can't include Giroud into that. He's only played five times. But best average rated player is still Kurt Zuma on 7.22 average rating. Haaland straight up there as well as Werner, the sort of players you'd expect to see up there. Well, let's have a look at the poor performers then. Goalkeepers, at the start of the save, I thought the goalkeeper average rating had been sorted for this year's FM. But he's still not showing to have a great average rating of 6.81. Although he has kept joint the most clean sheets in the Premier League. As far as poor performers go, with players that are actually into double figures for games, Kante has only got a 6.87 average rating. He's been injured a lot of this season, so we've not got to get a real run going for him. The player that's come in to play his position is Valverde. He's already at a 7.07 .07 from his first seven games. So we might be seeing the changeover happen a little bit earlier than I suspected. I thought we'd have Kante for another season before changing him. But it might be this year where Valverde's going to step into that position and Kante acts as the backup. So on to today's game. We are playing Barcelona at Stamford Bridge. We trail 3-2 on aggregate, but we do have the two away goals. Hopefully, if we can just get a 1-0 out of this and nick it, we'll uh, have a good time at getting through. Let's take a look at the lineup for today. So the lineup we're going to go with today will be Mendy in goal, James, Tamori, Zuma, and Afwil Equator in at left back. Now Afwil Equator's come in for Chilwell, who is currently recovering from injury. 
He should be returning in a couple of days to full fitness. But I can't take a chance of an unfit player against Barcelona, not when we need the win. Defensive midfield will be Valverde and Mount, with Havertz playing just in front of them. Up front, we've got Ziyech on the right, Werner on the left, and Abraham is going to be our goal scorer today. Now, the reason I'm going with Abraham is pure and simply down to the fact Haaland has not been brilliant recently. And I'm thinking if we start Abraham and then bring Haaland into the game, once everyone else has started dropping off, hopefully that will cause some problems. So let's get the team submitted. Team sheets today are in. And Barcelona, I've got Stargan in goal, PK and Longley at the back. De Jong, Busquets playing behind Messi, Coutinho, Dembele and Griezmann as their striker. Could be interesting that. What I'm hoping is we can wear out the defence in the first half and get Haaland on in the second half. Let's go out there with Pump the Fists. We owe Barcelona after what happened last time. Go out and get some revenge. So, they're walking out onto the field now. It's going to be an interesting game. Hopefully we can come up with something that they weren't expecting. It's just going to be a case of seeing what happens. Early free kick for Barca. Messi has gone in. He's beat Mendy at the near post. And I can't believe this. A minute into the game and we're already trailing. That is about the worst thing that could have happened. We needed a clean sheet today. One goal is not a massively bad thing. But it now means we definitely need two goals today. Second highlight of the game already. Throw in. Cortinho. Roberto. PK plays it forward and back to PK. And all the way back to the goalkeeper. Abraham trying to close the keeper down, but nothing coming off here. Ball's being sent for De Jong. PK straight over the top, intercepted there. Mount, what can Mount do with the ball here? Big ball forward, it's been cleared out. PK, Roberto, and now it's fell to Tamori. Over the top to Ziek. We've got an overlap here. Reese James to Ziek. Ziek into the box. Ziek took the shot. No. Oh. He's come back. Werner. And been hoofed away. Tamori. Zuma. Back through to Mount. Mount goes out onto the right flank. Ziek. Into Jack Abraham. And it's been cleared. Oh, that was an opportunity. Oh, dear. Mount into the box and it's been cleared away. Well, early on, it's pretty even. We've had the better of the expected goals, but we have conceded already. A messy free kick and not the greatest start for us. We really need to make sure we do something in this game. We're expected to make the semi finals of the Champions League, and at the moment, it just doesn't look like that's going to be possible. Quarter of an hour in and we still haven't seen anything that's changed anything up. We should encourage our players to try and play a shorter passing game is what we are being suggested to do. We're not really having much of the possession. We have always been a possession based team. Let's try going to a short pass and we'll follow what they're saying in the dugout. Can't believe it, two minutes in and we're behind. Uh, demand more from the players. This isn't what I was expecting. Looks like we're continuing to attack. Six shots to their two at the moment. But we're just not getting the job done. It's, it's not even the Abraham problem up front. We're not getting the ball forward to him. And now uh, Alibra out on the left wing into the box been cleared away. Werner to Ziek. Ziek forward to Abraham. Holding up the ball, letting everyone catch up with him. Here's Werner out on the left. He's gone out wide. 
Where's he going with the ball now? He's gone all the way at the moment. He pulls it back to Mount. Mount in a lot of space there. Valverde. Through ball there. Abraham, he's at the post. Can we keep it alive, Ziyech? He's been brought down, but it's not a foul. And Barca are clear here. Another opportunity goes a begging. Come on. It's not like we're playing badly. I mean, the short passing's actually brought the possession up, so maybe the short passing is a better idea than leaving it as standard. We did mix the tactics up for this game. Might have to come out attacking in the second half. We're going to need to do something to get this over the line. And we're drawing up to half time, and nothing's happened at all. And that's it, half time is here. We're running out with the expected goals. We should be in the lead of this game according to the expected goals chart. We've put in a good performance and we're a lot better than what Barcelona are doing. We're just not getting a job done. Okay. Let's get into the dressing room. Throw the ball. Uh, thrash arms. Point the finger. That's what I want to go for what he says, but I need to make a gesture. Point the finger, get out of there and do something else. Tammy seems motivated. I'm going to wait until the hour mark and then I'm going to bring it out, bring Harland on. So we start the second half. At what point do I switch from positive to attacking though? I mean, at the moment we are leading everything you'd expect to be leading. If we go to attacking, it might actually be counterproductive and we end up getting countered and they scoring with out of this competition. I'm not going to wait any longer. I'm going to get Haaland on for Abraham. He hasn't played badly, but we need to try and switch it up a bit. And I'm going to bring Werner off and bring Pulisic on. Werner on a 6.5 average rating. Let's give a team talk and tell the players, pump the fists. I've got faith in you to make a difference out there. Confirm the substitutions. And then we will go attacking as well. Let's get that done. And give a shout. Fire them up. We've just got to do something to grab a goal. If we can nick a goal within the next 10-15 minutes... I'll give us the edge to go on and get that second goal. So Barcelona moving the ball about. Messi, big ball out wide. No one there marking him. And Dembele is going to make his way past James by the looks of it. Still Dembele pulls it back into the box now. Coutinho's come all the way out. De Jong across. They take the shot. He's at the post. Get it clear. <sighs> Man, I can't believe this. What do I do? I've I've made the changes I think is going to make the difference. We've got creativity in the midfield with Mount and Havertz. Ziyech out on the right. Pulisic for his pace on the left. Haaland's come on. Okay, one last change. We're going to move Mason Mount out to where Ziyech is. And we're going to bring Conte on. And swap Conte with Alverde. Right. Mix it up a little bit. Not sure it's going to do a great deal, but Ziek is completely knackered, so we need something else going on up front. So the changes have been made. I'm going to go very attacking now. This could be a disaster. Demand more from the players. Oh, come on. Got 10 minutes to make something happen. James with a free kick into the box. Zuma's there. We are level. We've got 10 minutes to go. We need a goal. And we are level. One goal will see us go through on away goals against Barca. We're going to stay on very attacking. We can't afford to change anything now. Come on. 
Just one more attack. That's all we need. Instructions. Let's go more expressive. Let's get extremely high passing up there. Come on, one more goal. We've got a throw in. After the equator. Valverde into Havertz. He's got space in the box. Havertz has put it away. Havertz has done it. No VAR. It's a goal. It's a goal. The goal's going to stand. We need to make a quick change again. We need to get back to how we started this game. So let's get them instructions changed back. So we want to carry on at a standard. Get the more expressive off. We need to... Instead of playing very attacking, there is a VAR check. Oh my god, all that excitement. Harlem was offside. Oh my god, you are kidding. Let's get it all changed again. I can't believe this. Come on. Do it again. Do it again. Five minutes. I can't. Oh, I feel such a fool. Come on. One more goal. You've proved you can do it. Great. I'm gonna. I'm so angry. Come on. Oh man, we can't go out of this competition as well. The board just won't have it. Come on, one more, just one more highlight. I don't even care if it's for them now, just a highlight to give us a, something to grab onto as hope. Oh man. Messi's free kicks done us. First heard all the Champions League and we're out. And I can't even have a go at the players. So we're going to say hands on hips. Disappointed at going out. But we can take some pride of how we've played. <sighs> Mendy being beaten like that is ridiculous. And that's why we're bringing Donnarumma in. And getting him on a free is massive, but Mendy, as good as he is, he's not that world-class level. He's on like that next level just below. And at 28, he's not going to move on to world-class. Oh, man. So that's where it leaves us. We've gone out 4-3 on aggregate. I think so I need to look into that. <laughs> oh, one all draw today at Stamford Bridge. What are the fans saying about it? Ziek needs to pick himself up if he wants the first team place. Maybe we should support our players, Werner. Not really sure what that's all about. It wasn't a good game for Havertz. The fans seem a bit downbeat in this. First leg triumph helps Barcelona pass Chelsea. And now our first leg win provided a successful foundation for Barcelona, who secured a 4-3 aggregate victory over Chelsea following a second leg clash featuring VAR at Stamford Bridge. And I can't believe that goal late, so late on to be ruled out. But if VAR said it was to be ruled out and it's letter of the law, then it was ruled out for good reason. So Morris has gone into the uh, interview for us and said that he was pleased with how the two legs went and feels we deserved more, and I agree with him. It's I feel downbeat at the minute, but at the same time, Barcelona going out of the Champions League to one of the favourites, you can't complain at that either. We just need maybe that little tiny bit more quality. 
and I'm not really to be honest I'm not really sure what parts of the pitch we need that quality in at the moment the goalkeeper which we've got sorted already going in next season we'll have to wait and see what else we look at I'll be back in a moment with the Liverpool game and the result of the Palace game in between now Kurt Zuma is injured sprained ankle ligaments three to four weeks we have really suffered on injuries this season let's just have a quick look at the medical centre and the season summary of injuries so time missed this season we'll say it by that we missed Masonda for three months Emerson for three months Chilwell for three months Hudson and Doy, Kofovic and Kante all for two months throughout the season. Ziek six weeks, Harland four weeks, Werner four weeks. We've already missed a lot of playing time with injuries this year. Oh, okay. So today we go up against Crystal Palace, not Liverpool. The fixtures changed after the Champions League knockout. And the next fixture after Crap Palace is Burnley. So I thought bring your Crystal Palace a bit of a London derby instead would be the better of the two. Let's take a look at the teams. Hopefully by going up against Palace we might just bounce straight back from the disappointment of going out of the Champions League. Quick look at the uh, expected tactics and who they're going to play. Hennessy in goal. Coyote is always tough to play at the back. Ryder Ward on the left back, Townsend and Izzy on the wings, and Zaha's going to go up front with Ayu. Okay. The team we're going to go with today will see us have Mendy in goal, James, Tamori, Rudiger, and Chilwell across the back line, Valverde, Mount, and Havertz making up the centre three, Pulisic out on the right, he comes in for Hakim Ziyech, and Werner out on the left, while Haaland comes in for Abraham up front. We're looking to go hammer and tong at this. We want to make sure that we get the win out of this. Starting positive mentality, might even move on to an attacking mentality. The actual team sheet is in now, so we can just make sure that that looks as we thought it would look. Ryder well in there, Townsend in there, Aziz, Zaha, Ayu, nothing out of the ordinary there. Cahill on the bench. They do have... That's UI this season on loan from us, but due to the loan restrictions, he cannot play against us. He's actually their top scorer, so that's probably a good thing. Going to pump our fist today, and we are going to follow the assistance recommendations. Hasn't really inspired anyone. And I'm going to tell the attackers. I'm going to thrash my arms at the attackers. I'm expecting to see quality finishing out there. And that's revved him up. Send the assistant. The only press conference I'll do before the game is for real big press conferences. So we're underway. Let's see what this does for us. We have switched straight to the shorter passing mentality that we switched up in the Barcelona game. Instead of playing standard. Hopefully we hold the ball a little bit better and we can use that to our advantage. So we've got Hennessy with a goal kick. And he's gone big, well upfield towards Townsend. He's been intercepted by Chilwell. Werner is bringing it forward. Still Werner. And he's gone past his man into the box. He's gone back post. And Christian Pulisic has found a back of the net. Early on, 1-0. Seven minutes in, we have the lead. And it is a fantastic cross by Werner. And great for Pulisic to find the net. So 1-0 after just 8 minutes. That is a better start. And the players all look composed at the minute. Both wingers looking very good. We've got a few greens appearing already as far as the average ratings go for the players. So that's good as well. We hold a nice 1-0 lead as we draw into 20 minutes. Three shots to there, none. It's been a comfortable start for us. I just hope we can keep that going. Nothing really happening at the moment. Don't want to let them through for any reason if there's no need. I'm just going to drop a little bit of praise on the players. They're doing a good job up to now. 
hopefully it don't go to their heads. Players actually look composed after that. We've got Havertz and Pulisic starting to drop their happy faces. Ball into the box and it's over the bar. Mendy sort of flapped up his, his arms at that, but I'm not going to go on at Mendy too much. He's been a really solid keeper for us this year. And like I keep saying, we have got Donnarumma coming in at the end of the season. Maybe Mendy ought to start thinking about that and he needs to just make sure he bucks his game up to be at his best when Donnarumma does come in. I'm not going to instantly say Donnarumma is first, position, first place goalkeeper. You've got to earn your stripes regardless of who you are and what your name is. But this first half has gone really well for us. We hold the 1-0 lead. We don't look like conceding at the moment. And I think that's probably all we're going to see for the first half. And that's it. Half time here. The expected goals show that we're well ahead in this game. We've put in a good performance today. 94% of our passes have found the mark. That's really good. Get into the dressing room and with... I don't want to go outstretched arms because they could still do better. Hands together. Things are going well, but I know you're capable of even better. And Jody Morris, you're not really uh, giving the most inspirational advice at the moment. We will send them back out there. We're all looking composed, though. If we can build a little bit more up, then uh, I'll drop a bit more praise. But we'll see how we get on in these first 10, 15 minutes of the second half. So we've got a highlight here, which is a throw into us. Chilwell is going to take. And he's found Werner. Werner into the box, across to Haaland. Haaland's still got the ball. Into Pulisic. Haaland. Haaland's put the ball over the bar. Come on, Haaland. From there, really? You're a £70 million striker. Meant to be one of the best in the world. <laughs> You're lucky that we lead this game. Our passing is accurate all around the pitch, according to Morris. We've seen Chilwell get skinned all too often today, so a little worried about how Chilwell's performing. Although he has got a good average rating at the moment. I think that's the point where we're going to make a couple of subs. So just looking at the players that I can bring on and the players that come off, I think I will... Bring Rhys James off as he's not having the best of games. He's one of the lower rated players on the pitch. As far as fitness concerns go. I mean Valverde is looking nervous out there. Let's give Kante a run back in the team. There's no need for him to look nervous. We're doing alright. I suppose he just wants that one extra goal and I would like that as well. So this is the point where I need to start thinking, do we carry on positive or we could go cautious and draw them onto us? But changing things up at this point could end up being detrimental to how we're playing. I think at the moment, while we've got the lead and looking like we should be picking up the win, there's not really much point changing it. Let's drop a... Oh, we'll wait for this. I was going to drop some praise, but... We'll see what happens here. Mount with a free kick. He's took a shot. Keeper saved. Haaland has put in the rebound. Flag stays down. Ref doesn't look like he's looking into VAR for this. And we've got a 2-0 lead against Palace. I will now drop that praise I was talking about. We've done really well in today's game. Haaland... I'm glad I left you on the pitch. And we've got a corner here. Mount into the box. It's been headed away. Oh, ref's blown. It looks like it's going to be a penalty. He's going to have to go to VAR for this, surely. So we've got a penalty review with VAR being checked out. And the decision is a penalty awarded. 
So up steps Werner. Can he bury this goal? He has done. Timo Werner secures his 22nd goal of the season. Penalty spot. 3-0. VAR doing us a favour there. <laughs> but I'm sure if it weren't a penalty, it wouldn't have been given. Mount for Christiansen. Let's do that. I'd rather keep Mount fit for the next game. It's only Burnley coming up, but we may as well keep people fit now we've got a chance to. Still want the five subs out of seven in the uh, Premier League. That would be nice. So drawing to the end of the game. We've had a really good game today. Lots and lots of greens out there as far as player ratings go today. And we've bounced back from the heartache of going out of the Champions League with a nice successful win over Palace by the looks of it. That's it. Whistle's gone full time. We've picked up a 3-0 win there. If we look at the expected goals, we have just dominated all the way through that game. At no point did we look under threat. Quick look at the match stats. Again, sheer domination all the way through. Expected to score 2.21. We got three goals, so I'm happy with that. Created two clear-cut chances. Possession was 50-50. I'd have preferred a little bit more possession than that. And look at the passes, 92%, 419 met their target. So in the dressing room, I'm going to outstretch my arms and tell the players, well done, lads. So the end of today's games, see us hit top of the league. We are now nine points clear of Liverpool, although Liverpool haven't played today. They'll be playing tomorrow. Quick look at the results that have come in. United continuing to chase a Champions League spot with a win over Everton. Man City got the job done against Leeds. And Newcastle fall into West Ham. Newcastle were well up there at one point earlier on in the season. They are really dropping down the league now. Big hitters Tottenham are still in 18th in the league. Could they actually be in for relegation in the first season? That'd be interesting. So the Premier Division, Chelsea Hammer, Crystal Palace... Chelsea's resiliency and determination held strong against Crystal Palace in a 3-0 English Premier Division win at Stamford Bridge, where VAR was a factor. It seems to be a factor in all the games, but the, it seems to make the right decisions as well, so you can't complain about the technology. That win also means we maintain our unbeaten record. Eight games unbeaten in the league now. We had a couple of draws in that, Manchester United and Wolves, but... All in all, we're on a good run that sees us eight games unbeaten and well heading towards the first Premier League title of this campaign. So we're going to wrap it up there. Coming up next, I will. I would do the Man City-Liverpool game, but it's a little bit too close to this. So I think what I will do, we'll do the Brighton and Southampton games as the last games of the season. But if it looks like we're going to win the league before that, I'll be back a little bit sooner because it would be good for you to see us win the league if it's going to happen. A quick look at the Premier League, which is the only thing we're left in now. So we're well in charge of the Premier League. Nine points clear of Liverpool, as we said a moment ago. They do have a game in hand, so that's six points effectively, but two games they still will need to catch us. We've got no one in the top goal scorers, no one in the average ratings. Players of the match, Timo Werner still on five. Mendy joint top for clean sheets with 17. And that's a full look at the Premier League table at how it's looking. So we've got 64 goals this season against 16. That's not too bad really. It's going to be difficult for Donnarumma to move Mendy out of the way when you see he's only conceded 16 in 29 league starts. So that's where we're going to leave it. It's been a up and down episode. Falling out of the Champions League is a bit of a heartache. But we continue our march in the Premier League. We are looking like a juggernaut in that. Hopefully we can walk away with at least the Premier League trophy at the end of the season. And it's not a complete loss. 
Manager's performance is at a B minus now. Summarise the board, please, with your management of the team. Very pleased with Chelsea's convincing 5-2 win over Liverpool. Delighted with the atmosphere in the changing room. Delighted to be on course to win the Premier League. And the disappointments, we've already gone over the Thiago Silva disappointment. They're disappointed with the 0-0 draw against Wolves. And they're disappointed with the team's performance in the Champions League. I'm just hoping they take into account that Barcelona were one of the favourites for the Champions League. And hopefully they let me carry on next season. We've got one promise outstanding, which is Kurt Zuma's new contract. He will get that at the end of the season. I just need to try and let the money hold out until then. For now, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's been great that you've made it to the end. If you could drop us a like that'd be brilliant and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button to see any new content that i release thank you very much guys i'll see you soon